Number 34. Sign at the fair advertises ticket prices for the carnival games. And uh, we have red tickets, blue tickets, and yellow tickets. We need to find the unit price for each ticket color. So the unit price, we're talking... Of course, we need to be on the pen tool. Uh, we're talking dollars per ticket. So that means I have to divide dollars by tickets. So for red, I'm going to go... 37.5 dollars by 50 tickets and so that is 75 cents per ticket. For blue it's 16 dollars divided by the 20 tickets and I get 80 cents per ticket. And then finally, for yellow tickets, well, $5 for five tickets, that's $1 per ticket. How much would it cost for 40 red tickets? Well, I know cost is going to be equal to the cost per red ticket, which is $0.75 cents times the number of tickets, right? So really, all I have to do is multiply 0 0.75 by 40. Yeah, have a good night. That's 30 tickets. Sorry, 30 bucks. So this would cost $30. Alright. So then, how many blue tickets would it, uh, could I get for $20? So I'm going to stick with my equation. C is equal to 0.8 times the number of tickets I buy. And twenty dollars is a cost, so I'm going to say twenty is equal to point eight t, and so something, some number times point eight is tw twenty. Well, the only way to figure that out is to divide twenty by point eight. So I get twenty-five ticks. So the Derek and, and Betty punch bowl thing, we did this in class, so I'm going to sort of just go over it very quickly. Um, <coughs> we have three cups of mix and seven cups of water for a total of ten cups of punch. And we have 25 people. Each, people, each person each people, gets two cups, so I need 50 total cups. So if each one, if each mix gets me 10 cups, 10 times fi uh, 5 is 50 cups, so I need 5 batches. And notice how uh, in this problem we're being really careful in making sure we have all of the units included so we know what we're talking about. So if we have 5 batches, uh, five batches. Each batch has three cups of mix. Three times five is thirty-five. Or sorry, three times five is fifteen cups of mix. For water, well, five times seven is thirty-five cups of water. And then, uh, well, obviously two bowls won't be enough because that's only forty cups. So I'm gonna have to get three bowls. The Home Run Derby Contest after the Little League World Series. Uh, Calvin hit four home runs out of his, oh, this looks like a proportion problem, four out of 12. His success rate is about the same for the next 100 hits. Write and solve a portion of Sans's questions. How many home runs will Calvin have out of his next 45 hits? Sorry, 48. So we have hits, home runs. So what do I multiply 12 by? And this again hits. Well, 4. So that would be 16. How many uh, hits will it take him to make 36 more homers? All right. So here's the trick. So we have 4 over 12. So in other words, 1 out of 3 hits, right? And he needs... 
36 more home runs. So, this has a scale factor of 12. Oh, sorry. And this is the problem with, with unit rates. We gotta keep track of the units, right? So this is hits, and this is home runs. So if we have 36 over here, well, it's going to have to have 98 more hits to get the home runs that we're looking for. So the trick is, uh, so we have, he needs 98 more hits, right? But um, He's already had 12 hits, right? So we have to add it to our original 12 hits. So we get 110 total hits. Now, why did I have to add the 12? Well, the trick is this bold more home runs. To make sure that, you know, he already had the four home runs, he gets 36 more home runs for a total of 40. So um, he needs 98 more hits added to the 12 hits, there you go. All right, 37. A fair train ride uh, covered a distance of three miles in 20 minutes. All right, what is the speed in miles per hour? Well, if I go three miles in 20 minutes, in an hour, that's 60 minutes. My scale factor here is three. So I'm gonna go nine miles, <laughs> I'm gonna go nine miles per hour. And this is a very common thing to say, but we have to look at the units. Miles per minute. What does miles per minute mean? Miles divided by minutes. So we can't say nine miles per hour. That would be wrong. So we have to do miles per minute. So take my miles, which is three, divided by the minutes, which is 20. And so this would be 0.15 miles per minute. What is the speed for the ride in miles per hour? Well, that's a lot easier. It's just that nine miles per hour. Write an equation that you could use to determine how long it would take the train to cover any distance if it traveled at the same speed. Well, we know that rate times time equals distance. So my rate is nine miles an hour. And my time, we don't know my time, is equal to distance. You could also have one for uh, speed in, uh, or sorry, the distance in, in minutes, or time in minutes. So you could say 0.15t is equal to d. So this one is in hours, and this one is using minutes for time. Now, um, for this one, since it we're given minutes, I'm going to use this equation here. So 0.14 times 0.15 times 45. So we get 6.75 miles. All right, donuts for you. Oh, I love donuts, especially uh, jelly donuts with like some frosting on the top, but not the powdered sugar ones. I don't don't really like the powdered sugar on donuts. But don't get me wrong, I'll still eat them. Oh, glazed, glazed with uh, a filling. Oh, that, those are so good. And then you heat them in the microwave. We'll heat them in the That's microwave. Hard. Hard. All right. So if, if anyone wants to be Mr. Frankie's favorite student, that is the trick right there. All right. So <laughs> we get 12, 4, 5, 40. Um, use the vision to find the unit rate for the What is the cost per donut? Cost per donut. Cost per donut. So we have divided by 12. So that is 45 cents per donut. How many donuts can you buy for a dollar? So this is the other unit, right? So we're going to have to do donuts per dollar. So 12 donuts divided by 540. So I can get 2.2 .2 repeating donuts per dollar. 
All right, the school store sells 24 uh, pencils, 24 for $3, or, or two unit rates to compare it. Well, we could do dollars per pencil, or pencils per dollar. Compute each rate and tell what it means. So I'm not going to do that. Obviously, it's just a division. Um, this one tells you how many, how much a pencil costs, how much one pencil costs, and this tells you how many pencils you can buy for one dollar. Uh, number forty, number forty is is really just a bunch of cross multiplying, or scale factoring. So you know what did you do to five to get twenty? That doesn't help so much. Um, what did you do to twenty to get? Five. You, well, you divide it by four, so you divide that by four to get one. What you do to three to get eighteen? Multiply it by six. So this is twenty-four. Um, for the ones that don't work that easily, uh, you can reduce the fraction or use cross multiplication. Either way works. All right. This will be the last one I'm going to video. How many girls are enrolled in Lincoln Middle School? So we have. Three girls in every five students. And how do I get that? Two plus three is five. So this is a total. So that means my for my proportion, total has to be on the bottom. I will have girls in the numerator. So we have six, twenty-three, and we have x. So <coughs> Oh, sorry, girls, two boys. That is a problem. So girls are listed first, so that means it is the two. So we have two times six, 23, is equal to five times x. So two times six, 23 equals divided by 5 equals, and so we have 249 girls. If you want another detention uh, after school, we, that can be arranged too, buddy. It's your choice. Keep working. All right. The last one, suppose there's one teacher on staff for every 25 students. So that's one teacher for every 25 students. And assume for a moment that you can't go over that ratio. So if we have teachers, we have X number of teachers, and we have six 23 students, so uh, we can use cross multiplication again. 623 is equal to let's see, 25x. So divide both sides by 25. So 623 divided by 25. So it has to be 25 teachers to make that school uh, run. <coughs> 